Well, hello, Shoreline Congregation and friends of Shoreline Church who, who follow these, uh, these devotionals, these Wednesday devotionals. Again, we're continuing to look at James chapter 3 and the topic of wisdom. And so I invite you just to listen to these words from, again, just one verse today, James 3.14. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast about it or deny the truth. So right in this conversation about wisdom, there's this sort of this check your heart. Check your spirit. Check who you are on the inside. You know, bitter envy is real. Envy is, is looking at what somebody else has, what somebody else does, and I, I, want, I want that. And it's not a life of wisdom. But then we're also warned to be careful of selfish ambition. That's focusing on what I have. What do I have? What do I collect? What do I gather? How do I protect my stuff? So, so bitter envy is what you have, I want it. And then selfish ambition is all that I want, and I want more and more and more. Either way, being consumed with what somebody else has or being consumed with what I have is not the life and the pathway of wisdom. And so then we're told, don't boast. Don't be prideful. Don't deny the challenge of being envious of others or being selfishly ambitious for ourselves. Don't boast about it. That's prideful. Don't deny it. That's prideful. I never struggle. Just humbly acknowledge Lord, let me grow in wisdom. Give me a life of wisdom, not consumed with the envy of what others have, not consumed with selfishly accumulating what I can get, but acknowledging that God is good. I love him and walk with him. I can rejoice in what someone else has. I can thank God for what I have, and I can humbly follow Jesus. That's our prayer today. Lord, may we humbly follow you. May we, may we look at the people around us, and when they have things to rejoice in, may we rejoice with them. May we look at our own lives and be thankful for what we have. Appreciative, Lord, if you give us more, but not, not upset if we don't have more, but just recognizing that you have been good. Lord, walk us, help us to walk this day in the wisdom and the humility of thankfulness and gratefulness for all that you've given to us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, well, this Sunday is Easter Sunday. So I want to invite you, if you're able to, to join us. If you're part of Shoreline, join us for Good Friday services. We have two services on Friday. You can get all the details online. If you're not in the area, but you want to join us for Good Friday services, join us online. If you're in Monterey, join us on campus as we share communion, as we worship the Lord together. And then on Sunday, three worship services, outdoor, indoor, and online for Shoreline, 8 o'clock, 9.30, 11 o'clock. We invite you to come. We invite you to invite your friends. We're going to three services because we believe a lot of people are going to say, I'm ready to come back to church. My first time back is going to be Easter Sunday. If that's the case for you, we'll have a space waiting for you, outdoors, indoors, family worship venue. If you're still going to be home online, join us for worship this Easter. God bless you. Enjoy this Easter week.